Today, I am going to do a review on the GSI Creos PS290 is sometimes known as, and also known as, the Pro Convoy LWA Trigger Type 0.5. So, uh, yeah, I last week my wife did the books and she calculated all my art supplies for the year and we realized I spent a lot of money and so I promptly went out and bought two new toys or actually if the tax man is listening vital business tools okay so these always come um, you know plain old class plastic case typical foam packing your you know little nozzle wrench these little things right here are for hooking these up to an air spray. I will never use that. And the hoses, I'm not going to ever use those. And, of course, you get your cup. You see the finish. Like everything I have seen from the Creos line to this point, so far, there's your round cap, comes in the package. We will probably actually make use of that. And again, like anything I've seen with the Creos line, the finish on these things are always absolutely beautiful. Very, everything's tight. Not going to do a complete disassembly on this, but quick how easy it is to remove the fan cap, switch it over to a round cap. This head actually comes off, although I have actually started to try to pull that off, and it is too tight to get that off without a wrench. I'll probably do that later. I'm not going to do a complete disassembly now anyway. The trigger... Just like a spray gun, you pull back a little bit, you get air, and then you feel a detent, and then it will pull back, well, if I, if I loosen the limiter up, which works 100%. Something I never use on a regular airbrush, but I may use on this particular gun. And then once you hit that detent, then it'll start pulling the needle back, which is the same way regular spray gun is set up needle that I was talking about let me see if I can focus how the needle is blunt which means when you open that up it's going to bring out a lot of paint really really quickly again the finish is absolutely flawless beautiful as I've talked about in the past, not having a handle on it, not real thrilled they don't come with a handle because I don't have extraordinarily large hands. That's a bit cramped for me to hold a little bit uh, weird. I'll probably mount a filter right there on it. It'll give me a little bit of something to hold on to, but a handle on here would make that much nicer. But, you know, there are handles available. They are out of stock not been able to find one for it currently um you know so well we're gonna get this thing hooked up and we're gonna find out if it sprays as good as it looks so like the g77 that i reviewed i started out the same way with some thin paint i've got this pressure probably at about 10 PSI uh, with some thin paints and let's see a couple of getting a little bit of spattering that's to be expected with the pressure down that low let's turn that up uh, about five six inches away from the panel Yeah, 
had to pause because I ran out of paint. Let's see what kind of coverage we're. 15 to 20 PSI roughly. Well, ran that out of paint too, as you see. All right, so now I got a little bit thicker paint. Um, it's a great text illustration. Let's see how we... So we'll turn up that pressure a little bit. We're getting a little bit pebbly. quick coverage just to point out while I got you guys attention remember if you like what you're seeing here please 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 give me a thumbs up and you know leave some comments ask questions down below if you need to and as always I will have links down in the description below and possibly um, possibly in the comment section so that you can find products I use I want to you know some of the products that I use today I want to link them down as well as the airbrush and, uh, you know, of course, you know, subscribe, share if you want to, that'd be awesome. And let's get back into it. Now for something that might be more apt to what we would use it for, I have opaque wicked red straight out of the bottle, no reducer whatsoever. I currently have my pressure gauge set to 25 pounds. So I'm going to crank that up a little bit. Go ahead and get it up to 30. And of course we're covering that uh, I would probably need to thin this just a hair to get a really, really nice pattern spray on that. But as you can see that's that's chewing right through that wicked red real fast put some more in there okay got a little bit of fresher something to spray on here and come across this bottom let you see what that which is As I said, probably would need to reduce that just a little bit. But one thing I'm interested in, how's the stippling pattern on this? I'm going to turn this pressure down. By turning down the pressure, you can get uh, some really nice stippling effects. Depending on how thin your paint is, how thick your paint is. what pressure you use, and what kind of blob you can do. All right, so since uh, since I got started with this this morning, that's pretty much the only thing I've done, has been spraying stuff with this uh, new business essential. So my doggy's feeling a little bit unloved here. So how, how big is that pattern? Well, this is a two ounce bottle with paint over here on the left. Now I'm sure if I deal detail this dial it in, we could get even better. So I've switched over to the round pattern. And You might ask, why would I even care about the round pattern? Well, let's say you wanted to do a border on the edge of a panel and you were working on a border and you wanted to paint that in and you were working now with your smaller airbrush, that border, you would have to hit this edge many, many, many times. If you used the wide pattern, you would have, you know, overspray way out to here, way out to there. 
so you're effortlessly would cover that border on that edge <clears throat> really quickly where you can get in there a lot more precise if you needed to and if I pull back I mean we can coat that instantly practically and of course I can get stippling out of the round pattern too if I turn that down and you know depending on the paints I use if my paints were a little bit thinner the I got just about 5% reducer in this wicked red a use in which I might use this brush another use I might use in this brush you know how would it handle stuff like that um, I'm not gonna paint this whole thing because really I don't plan on painting this skull head red do some nice fades on it too so I could either get the good solid coverage that I want if I was using this for models I could even do some pretty awesome blend outs that you know, on this side of the piece, I can do them with my airbrush, but it would definitely not be that effortless. You know, I could always just tilt it back, let that spray blend out. Now I've got, uh, yeah. well, I said I wasn't going to paint it red, but it only takes a moment until you run out of paint another thing I wanted to point out this is something probably interesting people um, Cosmic Sparkle by Auto Air of course I wanted to get that this is on poster board but you had to have something black really quickly so that y'all could see that even show up. Hopefully you can see that. All right, I'm gonna try to move this panel around so y'all can see. I realize the camera doesn't pick that up very well. So I brought it outside so y'all could see and how very even it dispersed and those cosmic sparkles are really really awesome if you've never played with them um, I really wish I could get a much better look of way these are all right, guys, I'm going to tell you this thing sprays a beautiful soft spray. It sprays the new Createx clear coats, including the UVLS, if reduced a little bit. Absolutely fabulously. And it's really hard to explain the difference between a nice soft spray um, and a normal, like an HVLP normal spray. Um, if any of you are familiar with the LPH-80, it has a soft feel to it like that, uh, the way it sprays. And so, yeah, it's been absolutely fabulous on that. All right, guys, that's going to be a wrap on this. And I appreciate you all stopping by here. If I didn't mention my name, I'm Bill Kennedy with W. Leon Artistry. Probably most of you know that already. Um, you know, this is going to wrap up the video today. Once again, we appreciate you. I'm going to get out of here. Y'all have a good one.